Yo, what is up guys? It is Quasi here and welcome back to week 26 of Where and What You Got Sir. Now, <coughs> guys, I apologise for the coughing and whatnot. Um, I have been really ill, certainly this last week. Um, and prior to that, I went on a holiday for a week because that's why I haven't uploaded. Um, but I do have some... I went on a skiing holiday, guys, if you didn't know. Um, and I will have some clips to upload for that. But I'll talk about a little bit about after that once we've gone through this. Right, so we have got an insur... Oh, God, insurmountable skull fort. Sorry, I couldn't read that. We've got the uh, symbiote helmet, the heart of Prax fire. We've got the exotic engram. And we've got the legacy engram. Um, and obviously we've got the standard. Right, so the first one is the uh, insurmountable skull fort. Uh, that comes with that um, is the improved transfusion, kills with a storm fist, immediately trigger health, regeneration, respawn with full melee energy, gain a second melee charge. Now again, I wouldn't really use this, I haven't really used this um, before, I never really thought it was worth it, again I think there are better titans, certainly better titan. Um, exotics to use than this uh, but if you did decide to use this um, I probably would recommend you using it more for PvP purely for the fact that it gives you that second melee charge as well um, and you obviously respawn with full melee energy so you know every time it comes to the end of the round and you start a new round it's say let's say we're saying we're talking about trials for Cyrus then you will have those two for melee energy charges ready um, and also kills with the storm fist will immediately trigger health and generation which can help in a very very important situations uh, so my personal opinion is if you are if you are going to get this I certainly would use it more for PvP rather than say PvP um, next moving on to the symbiote um, now the symbiote obviously was very very big in year one I used it a lot for um, for year one uh, this obviously comes with last man standing which is the additional golden gun bullet uh, we have obviously increased intellect increased discipline inverse shadow second thoughts and in innovation again this is very heavily a pvp uh, helmet if you are planning to use the golden gun in pvp then this is the exact helmet you need to use for it Purely for the fact that, you know, it tells you right there, you know, there's no secrets to that. It gives you an additional shot, uh, which gives you four, which can be very handy. But if you feel like um, you're playing Trials of Cyrus and you're very good with your gold gun shots, maybe you don't need this helmet because really that is the only benefit to this helmet, to be honest, guys. The only benefit is it gives you that one extra shot. So if you feel like you're very good with your gold gun shots, you know, and you can kill all three in, in Trials of Cyrus with, with your three bullets, then by all means choose another helmet. Uh, but again, that is more of a PvP helmet. Next, we have Heart of Praxi Virus. God, I can't read. Pra Heart of Praxis Fire. <coughs> that comes with Praise the Sun, further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active, greatly increased agility. Um, also comes with increased intellect, increased discipline, hand cannon ammo, sniper rifle ammo, void burn defense and solar armor. Um, again that is personal preference with the void or solar. Um, so I mean, praise the sun, is it worth it You know, to have this exotic piece on? Uh, further degrees all the... I don't think so. I mean, I don't think it's it's anything that amazing. Again, guys, I think there are better uh, Warlock. Uh, certainly in PvP situations and PvE situations, I think there are better exotics for the Warlock. Um, but again, if you've got you know some money to you know some strange coins to spare, uh, and for instance, you know you're trying to collect some stuff, then yeah, go for it. My advice is, you know, why not grab it? Um, and then we also have the exotic engram, which is obviously the, the year two, and then the legacy, which is obviously year one stuff. But like I said in previous 
uh, videos, guys. If you want to get something from your year one, uh, you can always buy that. But I always recommend doing that for the guns. I mean, you, Zero pretty much will sell every sort of uh, armor piece of that. You don't really have to worry about. And then obviously we've got the plasma drive. We have the void drive, heavy ammo synth, three of coins, and the glass needles, and the one and only modes of light. Guys, it, I'm, I'm, you can obviously hear in my voice. I am very, I'm ill at the moment. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in what a couple of weeks now. That, like I said, that is mainly because uh, I came home from my holiday on Saturday, uh, that just gone. So obviously I wasn't at home and able to do last week's uh, Zora video, guys. So again, I do apologise for that if you were waiting for that. Uh, like I said, I was on my skiing holiday. Uh, I did get some clips and some footage of that. Uh, I might make a little sort of fun little montage for you guys to see sort of what, what, where I was and what I was doing. Uh, gonna try and edit that soon. But I, like I said, I haven't touched any. I haven't touched my PlayStation, uh, my computer that much since uh, since getting back because uh, uh, I did turn it. It was actually uh, Mother's Day uh, on Sunday that's just gone, guys. So I spent time with my mum. And ever since then, I sort of uh, became ill and haven't really bothered with the PlayStation or, <coughs> or computer. Uh, so I'm going to try and sort of make a full recovery before I start doing that. And also, guys, I do have the Division game now uh, in the cellophane box ready to play and smash that out, guys. And I hope you enjoy that with me as well. I'll probably be doing a playthrough of that. I'll be doing all tips, tricks, locations, blah, blah, blah. You know me. Uh, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do apologize, apologize again for the two-week delay. But as always, guys, this has been Quasi. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like. It really does help the channel to guys to grow. Um, but thanks, guys.